Hello, welcome to Counter Point Conversations. I I today have a very special guest with me, SPP and GM at Finaptics, Pravinkit Puravati, and he heads the Connect Connectivity Wireless business at uh, Synaptics. And today we are going to have a conversation on what are different trends going on in wireless business. And Synaptics is one of the leaders uh, in wireless connectivity business, and uh, especially for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, UWB, and would like to know more vintage from you uh how has couple of years been for you as you're seeing amalgamation of these technologies together right and where have you seen success for your business and the products is there cutting edge and so if you can talk more about it sure me like it's always a pleasure to meet you whether i think uh, as you decided to point out synaptics has been the leading uh, provider of connectivity solutions and uh, Well, especially you probably seen our brand at the Canon's Build BCT videos, which encapsulates all the I think uh, salient points about our technology, be it the uh, like uh, the durability, which is the biggest thing, the biggest pain thing, a frame point in the connectivity point, uh, connectivity aspirations, and then you talk about uh, coexistent because there are a lot of wireless technology, especially in the two point four. I really I pretty proud it. So you need to be really uh, like operate well seamlessly with all these technologies. Ah, uh, that's where we really excel. And then uh, we talk about the just the range, right? The range point of view because you do want to get the maximum throughput at a longer distance as well, especially in applications like just the security cameras, and uh, and then the low power aspect of it, which is very good, uh, is required on the wearable side of things. So it, so those are the things where I think Canoptics has been kind of uh, the dominant right in these uh, markets. Thought about uh, securing cameras, uh, uh, like setup boxes, wearables, and like drones and uh, smart home in general. Right, there are many devices, especially with this triple combo. Right, uh, we were the pioneers in the industry, and we introduced that concept like uh, two three years ago. When nobody else was still having about it, triple combo, and now we are actually into add utility. So that actually we want to make it uh, what we calling a quadruple combo or combo combo. So it, it's essentially coming all these things are coming together, and uh, I think it give a, like a really enhanced experience for the user, right? Because what at the end of the day they want to look at have a like a robust connected, but again Veros. Really symbolizes that when somebody thinks about wearables, they can think about robust connectivity, best in class, and have the best performance. Okay, so that's what we are trying to bring to the table. And synaptics for the last two years, you've been asking. I think we really actually started rebounding back from the inventories, plug that they had in in the Soviet days. How I think all that are behind us. We I think uh, it's. The business is taking off very well for us, and we are like venturing into many new markets, uh, not just the traditional markets, but even automotives. We are trying to make a break into the road market as well. And tablets is another area where I think we are going to make big splash. And uh, yeah, many many markets we are just uh, starting there. So, I think you're right. A uh, video serverless market is hot, and lo- needs robust connectivity, range, and so forth. Or you thought about automotive? I was talking to one of the contacts in the industry. He said, at one point, you'll have you'll see almost nineteen chips going into automotive due to their Wi-Fi. Yes, that's true. Yeah, it's just exploding, right? It's mind-boggling the connectivity part of it. Like you, you take like and uh, I what we call the infotainment part of it. There itself, we can have probably one multiple chips right. because people in the back seat they want to watch the video. Or she, somebody wants to make a call, right? That all these things have to be actually supported at the same time. So that itself actually is creating a lot of what uh, connectivity can. And then you have these other things like access, right, uh, from the UWV. Right? That's one part of it. Where people want to actually uh, use your phone as access key. And then the, you have type pressure sensors. You have many other sensors that want to use Bluetooth technology. So I think yeah, that is a future effect. 
you write a set, maybe 50 to 20. It's just, it's just per kind of guy. It's like really crazy. Uh, you. And, and that brings to a very good point which you made that having so many uh, wireless connectivity in one place, you there will be congestion. Congestion. And how do you optimize it? Yeah. Right? Uh, like that's a seamless way. Like you need to make sure that they all interrupt and coexist like this. That, that's the key. Right? That's where I think again, because we, we have so much flexibility in our designs. So we kind of look at it at the very last minute and make a decision, right? Like, is this better suited to use for Bluetooth or like Wi-Fi or Thread or GSD? Because it's a priority, right? Like you're making call that needs to take a precedence sometimes compared to like, let's say you're getting a video downloaded from the internet. But so those are the things that you do want to optimize to the phone and, and make user experience like really uh, like see you. Right? Like they, he doesn't experience any glitches. He is watching the phone and uh, like video, they would make a call, all happening under the whole first bag. And then you, you'll be satisfied with us. Otherwise, if he starts having like any kind of uh, glitches there, that is the uh, experience is not. Right? So that, that's good. We come in fairly well. You do really well. Uh, you know, and this is the elephant in the room. Yeah. yeah. So Arian talks about AI in Lugdu, but I know you have been in the trip a lot. And yes, if we're talking about orchestrating AI in Proverb. At some point, do you, th- do you see AI will come into uh, connectivity part as well? Yeah, it's already coming in. Like, I mean, like here we talk about wipe sensing, right? Uh, that's another big complication that's actually daily down of traction. Especially like you if you're in this room, you want to know if somebody is in there or not. And then as you walk away, you want to switch off all these things automatically. Like, you don't need to go and like do other things. And why wireless video is like really perfect for that one because it's kind of invisible for you. And and but you can still have perturbations in the media. We can react just breathe. And you don't need to go anything there, but just breathing itself, I can actually detect that and say like, hey, somebody is present in this room. And as you walk away, because much more quiet, and that is good enough for us to signal that okay, first you want it, and and but the beauty of that is a usual thing, but then you run it through AI, mm-hmm. right? Because that's where you order extract some signature and say that hey, we somebody was breathing, that will look like there, whereas nobody's there, then that you might be but but that requires AI. That actually you're already doing that is a wireless OP. We cover all this what we call channel cap, strip information and then run it through our AI on the Astro, which is where we actually operate there, interoperate, I, I mean, integrate with him with our Astro drivers and whatnot. And that AI is, we already in AI we use there. And then we talk about other things, right? Maybe you're going to even predict what would be the channel quality as you have multiple devices that and think at different channels are, are like a different transmit like power level all these things can win it from AI right? all the insights that we can get from AI can make it much more optimized connected as well so I think that see it will go both ways the connectivity will benefit from AI right? Right. and AI will benefit from connectivity because in the end after doing all this like big computations you want to like uh, communicate that back to the user device, right? Like, uh, let's say if somebody is in your room, you did expect this, you get a alert on your phones. Now it has to happen through a communication list. And you you do the communication and then you're sending it over, they connect to. So, so it's going to like really coexist by this point. AI and connectivity, like, like almost like a like water fish, right? That's in biotechs, very symbolic. You talk about a lot of differentiators of Snaptis. But when you go to customer, obviously it comes to Opast. Uh, doing good at perform good performance as house. Okay. Uh, but that is not the only C's which you which you mentioned, right? Yes. So if you go outside of China, uh people choose you. And why is that? No, I think like there is always a place for power side. So you can't completely dismiss it. But I think there is Quality is also a task, right? Uh, X place 
and people do want to achieve superior at times to say to how high quality paper for this day so that where my syracuse is well known for kanekushi kore are as part was is that when they go with the synaptos taken her she kissfully that okay their device is out there and uh, has no like issues uh in the way out and they get passer get the first movers and that gives you i am the surface i think uh user experience that comes stop that right? so that that's where i think that's why yeah why we need to optimize it is no uh, i think uh or, or i think uh, no way we can uh, uh, completely avoid that shell but you go on to optimize to the phone and just provide bare minimum right and in that process like make users feel in severely bad that i think is not something good so is the kind of optimal beta we do want to like optimize the cost but then how that like high like uh uh level sure up to the short right where did the one say pay i i'm good with the performance and i'm getting it at the cost I, that's the kind of really performance but cost the performance cost right? that that's the key point it's not just about the the cost we was near right? and that, that's not our just book in some markets it just there's i think there is place for that but i think uh, in most markets it's the performance for passes and there has to be a uh, reasonable talk but the question a uh, question so well, maybe a final comment i would like be uh, so looking for next Well, you're in the fire. Do you have any teaser for us? Uh, where we should look at in terms of the wireless trends you see from the cusp years and a uh, bell, your roadmap of all legacies? Definitely, I think uh, at the top of the board, I think uh, so. On the wireless side, pre, I think the devices are explored, and uh, the spectrum is kind of limited. Even though, right, we go, it's taking time, right? But as you know, it's uh, just a matter of time, you know. Then it has. so what what this means is that you need to really get to the like a, a unit level uh bandwidth and type of optimize so let us for example if you if you are doing like a a round drop in connector right and you wait you have to wait for more turn to as transmit and receive then it can push a lot of latency but easter if i can actually slice it such a way as that i can actually Top to all of you is same mm-hmm. time, right? Then you will be able to reduce the latency in in the process to the user export. So that's where the Wi-Fi seven should the multi unit operate, and are you able to operate? Just now all these things are done. So that's good. I already took a like a hard thing. Same smart ten I did, but now we take this like a update up in priority set. And then, as you see, we we want to ask the crew to challenge some days out. We do want to do measure the bills or uh, like do a like a sense payment for all these applications. There there is will be a multitude of this uh, application that coming together, and you will see Wi-Fi seven, Samsung, Dux, Stardo, UWB on coming to the parties right with the waiting. So I think that's good. I think the plan will be that. it's more and more use cases get alifree and using ai as is the purpose bank for making more efficient more efficient and more i think uh, rich in terms of user experience and more so i that's what we will see in next few years especially if you want to sell to the wifi 7 you to six start all forex come to market and uh, reduce the and the bullish rates right and then adding you will be Other things it will go well in different combination and we see pack build. It's been brilliant. Thanks. Thank you very much. Another good pleasure. Thank you, Spence.